How's it going, guys? It's Louie here. I just wanted to talk to you guys today about a book I just got. And I kind of got the idea that I'm going to do like a little like series as I read this book. And I have, this, I have a feeling, and that's why I got this book. It's uh, Astrophysics for People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Uh, the reason I got it was because I knew it was going to implant little thoughts in my brain. And then it was going to send me off on a wild tangent of understanding and connection. I think this is going to connect a lot. And if you guys have in any way been like following me or know, or if you're just a homie that knows what I talk about all the time, um, I've said before that we are so lucky to be alive right now because we're alive in a time where science and religion and philosophy are all describing the same thing. And they're all not necessarily describing the same thing, but they're trying to describe the same thing, which is wild. And so astrophysics, metaphysics, all these things, you know, the metaphysics, spirituality, and then the literal physics of the astrophysics, I think there's some connections there. So um, I'm just going to kind of uh, talk about, um, so I read the first chapter. Uh, and the preface. So uh, I'm going to read something from the preface that I thought kind of like sums it up pretty well. Um, and if you have not seen it yet, um, I think it's episode 919, Joe Rogan Experience with Joe Rogan um, and Neil. Uh, this was like two months ago, and that's when I uh, saw it and I watched it, and that's when I pre ordered this book on Amazon. Um, and guys, the Amazon link to buy this book will be available in the uh, comments below. Um, but nonetheless, here's the, here's the like, last uh, paragraph of the preface. If you're too busy to absorb the cosmos via classes, textbooks, or documentaries, and you nonetheless seek a brief but meaningful introduction to the field, I offer you astrophysics for people in a hurry. In this slim volume, you will earn a foundational fluency in all the major ideas and discoveries that drive our modern understanding of the universe. If I've succeeded, you'll be culturally conversant in my field of expertise, and you just may be hungry for more. And then on the very next page, it's just one quote from Neil, and I've heard him say it on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast, the universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. Sweet. <laughs> very, very cool. And so uh, the first chapter um, is called... It's called The Greatest Story Ever Told. And um, the reason that I think the rest of this book is going to be so dope is because of the language and the tone that he was using in... The first chapter and you know the greatest story ever told he literally starts at when the entire universe universe was the size of the point of a pin and he literally describes literally how particular molecules formed how he literally described how energy turned into molecules and then how that turned in to collections of molecules which turned into matter which then started turning into universes and galaxies and planets. And then he kind of talks about how the sun was formed and then how the earth was kind of perfect. And this is only in like, what, eight, cha nine chapters, nine, nine, nine pages? Like it's very short. But what he did was he made it like a story. He made like the different neutrons and, and the different quarks like he made them characters and so it, it kind of makes it like really easy to understand um and then so essentially he, he gets to the very end where he talks about like how human beings could be such a thing and then the last line of chapter one he says we are stardust brought to life then empowered by the universe to figure itself out and we've only just begun and based on that sentence i'm i'm very excited to read chapter two I think there is some sort of cosmically divine presence. I mean, like, 
turn from a pinpoint to the vastness of what is. And we're alive. <laughs> I'm like sitting on my porch on this beautiful day. My dog's just literally being like a meditative pit bull, just literally staring in the sun. Goofball. Oh, now he's eating grass. Okay. All right. Okay, Picasso. <laughs> um, and it's amazing, man. You know, and then, and then it all ties back into being able to create with my friends and being able to make stuff that makes people feel like they can do dope stuff. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, guys, go out, get this book. It's really dope. It's only like 10 bucks on Amazon. And, you know, how many pages is it? Let's see. 200 pages. Like, get out of here. You can, you're, you can understand the universe. And literally, Neil's perspective is the current state of astrophysics. You want to understand what all the physics, the physicists are like trying to figure out via physics right now? Right here, 10 fucking dollars. You don't have to go take a class. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars in college. $10. Thanks, Neil. $10 and you're changing the world, man. Awesome. So, yeah, guys. Peace and love. Roots and books.